What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fun with Dumb. It is a, another week here, and uh, it's we're in the midst of it all. The summer, midsummer. It's in August. A lot of functions are happening. And this past week, I went to a rap show. <laughs> I don't know why I said rap show like that. <laughs> Sounds Clearly, so old. <laughs> I haven't done a show in a while. Uh, I got to do a surprise performance at an artist named Ted Park show, and. Um, mm. Some of uh, some of the affiliates um, were there as well. Mm. Um, my friend G two over here, all the way from Dallas, also K Korea. Wow. Mm. And Juno Flow right here yes, from uh, Cali to Korea, mm. and we have a uh, quite a connection here because these two guys, uh, as part of the Kyopo connection, if you were Kyopo <laughs> means a foreigner in Korea. And there's a little community of Kyopo rappers, mm -hmm. people from the States who go out there, do their thing. And you guys both went out there, did y'all thing, and then moved out here. And now mm -hmm. you guys are continuing your independent rap journey, which I highly respect because y'all had things going on over there. But y'all were like, man, rapping in Korea is getting exhausting. I'm going to go over here, <laughs> do, go back to my English language and go kill it. And I'm here, Juno Flow, G2. What's up, guys? Yes, hey, man. Woo! Hey, what's very up, well explained. <laughs> yeah, you no. just explained everything. Yeah. I got nothing else to say. Well, no, no. I just wanted to. Well, okay. I mean, we're going to dive into it further. Oh, yeah, but dive, we're here because it. you guys dropped a joint album called Smiles and Tribulations. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. And who is Smiles and who is Tribulations? And I can take a guess. <laughs> I mean, we could take a poll. A lot uh, of tribulations going on in this area right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I'm, this I'm all smiles, baby. I'm all smiles. This is what. Juno looks it like could after be the years other way. of tribulation yeah. right here. We go back and forth. Yeah. yeah. And obviously yeah. over here, I could tell the smiles yeah. of the tribulation. I actually don't know. Um, well, let's go, let's go back to the uh, roots. I mean, I've had, I've had, um, I've had both of you guys on the pod, right? Yes. Individually. Yeah. I think yeah. I've been on twice. This is my third time now. Yeah. I've had I came on with Los, Los. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about two years ago. So, um, how long has it been since you guys have been back in the States? Uh, for me, it's very recent. I moved um, at the end of December, close to 2021. So, it's been about eight months now. Seven, eight months. Brand new. Already. Brand new. And then, yeah. Juno, you've been here for I a I moved bit. back right before the pandemic hit. So, okay. I, I came back with all this fire and mm. passion and motivation. Yeah. And everything and just the got shut was down. Like, <laughs> and I was like, shut <laughs> down. <laughs> so, that was, that, was, that was pretty recent, too. I would say yeah. year and a half. About a year, year and a half. Yeah, a year yeah. and a half. Um, so you guys are coming back around the same time. And what was the big definitive decision to move back over here? Because um, at, at this point in Korea, you guys had things going on. I mean, you guys yeah. can book shows regularly there. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the decision? Well, I was in Korea for like eight and a half years. And I just felt like I just let it run its course. And I just thought it was like the perfect time. And especially with the pandemic and the coronavirus happening, like... I wasn't getting any shows in Korea. Yeah. Yeah. And so I really didn't think it mattered like where, where I was. And you thought you get shows here. I mean, well, what, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying, everybody's going through the same shit. Yeah, yeah, and right, I, right. I you know, I just, and I wanted to like, you know, like what he said, like I no. wanted to do like you I wanted well. to dream bigger. Like I was there. I was exhausted. And I wanted to like have a I, new I, change of scenery. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? In the midst of the pandemic, I say just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. There's no <laughs> rules anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There um, there really isn't. I feel like you just gotta adapt to whatever is drawing your way. And, yeah. and and like for me too, I was out in Korea for about four years. Yeah. And I, I decided to move back just because I feel like I lost a sense of like creative freedom and like myself mm -hmm. while I was yes. out there. And I just felt like my soul was being just like sucked out of me. And right. I was just like, right. it's like a lot to deal with as a Kyopo, you know, to like living out in Korea and just trying to be, just, just trying to find your way. Like it's, it's a little, I feel like it's hard to explain, but once you live there, it's like one of those places where it's great to visit, but a whole different story to live in. Yeah. Everything you so. do, I feel like it's very saturated and concentrated. It's very fast paced and... For well, me, I felt like I went through like this identity crisis just as a Korean American, mm. and being in Korea as a Korean American, mm. like I went through another like wave of identity crisis. Like I don't know who I was. Mm. Like, well, I didn't know where I, I, I will say being anywhere or doing anything for about four years yeah. will run its course. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right. four years, I, I say significantly four years because there's a lot of things that's like four years you become a different person there's like yes. the yeah. universe you could go to university or something yeah. olympics oh that's true everything's in like <laughs> four, a lot, year a lot blocks. Of four year yeah, increments like school you know yeah. yeah yeah other shit and and so you were in korea and you said it was kind of 
taking up, you know, uh, sucking at your soul a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds funny. Sorry. <laughs> Visualize it. Sucking at your like soul. It's like, soul. It's like a dementor. Yeah. <laughs> you think your soul's here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyways, yeah. So is it because, like, the language part, that's the huge element? Or? I think there were a lot of small factors, you right. know, like the, like the language and just um, finding my own way out there. But... I will say that I grew a lot and and just like you said I think in that four year block like I reached like the the peak of my growth out there where I right. was like all right I right. think I need to expand like further from here like go learn something else somewhere else you know so for me it's like I want to go back home yeah I want to rediscover like my love for making music mm. and and yeah so that's why I did what I did is wow. is that um how was the process different for you out there in making music? It was it was very different because of the language. Like like G two's really fluent in Korean. Yeah, you know, I like, wanted to ask like, that. Like before you guys moved to Korea, right? Were you guys speaking a lot of Korean here? I was not. You were not. At I'm. All. I was. I was trash at Korean. Yo, I'm. I'm still you... kind of trash, but I'm like a little better now. But... Like even low, so I've never heard. I, I, never... Know... I would say all the authors. <laughs> That's why you know what? That's why I'm, I'm actually sure. very impressed because I'm so impressed with that. You went out there and you went through the whole, you know, uh game ah, yeah, the, oil, the, the, the the show process, yeah. the reality yeah. show process. Yeah. And just breeze through it, like yeah. went to the final. I yeah. studied my ass off. Like you did. All, all I would do is watch Korean dramas, movies, listen to Korean That's music. Crazy. And I had a little notepad out in front of me. So like a two hour movie would take me like four hours. Of okay, does that, that shit like really stop. work? It does. People say that, like watch Korean dramas, watch movies. Does it really work? It does. Yeah. I drank with the youngs for like eight years. But you gotta like <laughs> actively, <laughs> wait, wait, actively wait, wait, wait. What are you doing with the notebook though? So you're watching the movie. I wrote down every word I, I didn't know. Oh. So I had like, like a like an arsenal of right, right, like right. rhymes or like vocab words that I could use that oh, I've never known. So he changed. He switched entertainment to you know educational. But like, but for me, I if I if it was straight up entertainment, I right. can't take in all this information. Yeah. So yeah, I got yeah. experiences. So for me, like I went out a lot and like I would you know go out to K Town even in, in Dallas or in LA. So mm -hmm. my so Korean wasn't as good as now, but looking back, I think people really fuck with my Korean rap because it was imperfect. Right. And then as I got better. The Korean was just like not perfect, perfect, but it was at a weird, awkward stance. And, and then think, it's yeah. like your signature. Yeah, and I Korean. think, and I think, I just had no nothing else to say in Korean anymore. Right. So no. two different approaches: <laughs> one man with a notebook watching films, and another person getting drunk with soju. Yeah, with, with soju. <laughs> On a daily basis. Right. Yo, numb with dumb? That's <laughs> yeah. fire. It's my like, custom soju coming out. We see that. <laughs> Got great fans. We bro. expect to sell nothing. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's crazy. Okay, so you guys finally came out here around the same time. And that wasn't planned together, right? That was a separate journey for you yeah. guys. But we were very, very, um, what do you call it? In I forgot the word. Um, we were very part of uh, uh, each other's life, as in like we mm. we started the album here. Um, whenever I was visiting, right, right. And so, mm. just starting the album really gave me that push and like that that drive to like that confidence to actually decide to move here because mm. at least I have something to you know continue. Yeah, and you finish. have like a project. Yeah. exactly. I think it's pretty cool that you guys were rapping in Korean out there and came out here joined together to make an English album. Yeah. Yeah, that's a complete <laughs> yeah, 180 yeah. there. It was just it was just a whole flip. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but did it I, feel refreshing, Shone? It did. It did. Like, like I, ha I, <laughs> yeah, we had to say it in both ways. Just, just, <laughs> just to let y'all know, I do this too. We can do this. I feel like I was in high school again, like that passion right. when we first start. And um, I, I you you saw me in high school, like I had this like weird uh, just confidence that like i know i was gonna make it like i know i was dope oh yeah but yeah. i feel like living in korea i kind of slowly lost that and just come in here and just wanted to just show people that yes i speak english and mm -hmm. yes i can spit and i just want to be you know i'm dope and yeah. so like that confidence just kind of rose again and just the, the passion for music definitely sparked up again it is a humbling experience because you know we think we're dope too you know we go out to korea yeah. and <laughs> cats are just like they don't necessarily can they can't really understand your dopeness Mm. That's true because it's a lyrical thing, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you have to be able to have yeah. lyrics. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's or like just comprehension. You know what I mean? How frustrating is that when you're like, 
I'm dope. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't, Believe me. they can't fathom it. You know what I'm saying? They might think you're funny with your Kyoko right, raps. Right, yeah. right. But they're like, they, don't, they yeah, can't yeah. be like, oh, that's bars. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, keep on that. You know what I mean? I never heard that in my life. It is yeah. a frustrating thing. Um, For sure. I, I will say the one huge difference beyond even the language transition has been you guys coming out here and doing stuff completely independent, right? Mm -hmm. Like over there, you had somewhat of a team or a label right. to assist you. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a crazy, like a K-pop system or nothing right, like that, right. but you had a label, maybe a little budget or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There definitely was uh, a support system when it came to like that whole label and um, releasing music and trying to get gigs. A schedule of rollouts. Right, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Where everything was planned out and then and once once I went independent, because I went independent after about like two years in Korea. Mm -hmm. So so the rest of my stay there, I was just doing everything on my own. And then like during that time I learned a lot because I realized like, oh damn, like the label does do a lot of things where I don't I'm not even thinking about. Like right. like a lot of the back end shit. Mm -hmm. And and so during those two years in Korea by myself, like I was just figuring shit out, trying to build like my team too. Yeah. And then I like try to book shows here and there. So I got I got lucky with some, you know, like international shows, yeah. did a tour like mm -hmm. in China. And and that Ooh. was a huge learning experience. Just like doing shit as an as a totally independent artist, which right. like I know you you guys yeah. like understand that fully because you guys have been doing it for a while now. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I understand it your does. journey. It, I understand your journey. Like coming from America, we have this passion. We have this, you know, this hobby that becomes kind of like a job for us, you know, something mm -hmm. that we want to take this, you know, to the next level. You guys going to Korea, I've, I've, you know, I've worked with you guys out there when there was a timesheet, there's like a daily itinerary, like yeah. they're by the minute, you know what I mean? Right. And then, in that sense, it's kind of like college where you learn time management, a little more discipline. You know what I mean? You have to follow the you have to follow the schedule. But then while you're doing that, you kind of lose the soul of it. You know what I mean? Because mm, it becomes hard. more of like an it becomes more of like an assignment based thing yeah. instead of like if we're going to be in this. You know, I want to say this or this is the message I want to convey. So you guys having that training time and then coming back, it's like you're getting the best of both worlds yeah. now. You know what I mean? You have the discipline. Yep. And now you come back and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fall in love with this again. I, I will yeah. say I have That's seen dope. that crazy discipline. I mean, you know, it seems like, Juno, you kind of you've had a lot of friends around you that do a lot of different things, whether it's in-house graphic design to mm -hmm. videos. Is that coming from your side? Is you got it? Are you, I, I, you know, honestly, in LA, the only people that I the only connections that I had was y'all. Oh, yeah. We uh, were helpful at <laughs> yeah, all. No, we're, not yeah. at all, bro. Not <laughs> at all. <laughs> Well, Wait, what happened? What was the question? Well, uh, I, podcast. Come on, yeah. man. Anytime. Yeah, we're here now. We're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, no, but, but yeah. you're right. Uh, you, you, I mean, you, you're from here, so you had a um, good little squad of cats, yeah. which has been dope. And you see, I've, yeah, I've I see you, man. That's been yeah. very impressive, man. Like yeah. your rollouts, your, I can see how hard you're working right. to do this. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah trying. Man. <laughs> see, I've seen this album have been possible, like if it wasn't for him. Like, he oh yeah, took we on know. a lot of like small, small. <laughs> we know. Like, we know. We're, we're aware of that. We like, know. That's, we don't need to. Uh, All right. Well, I guess I think I'll just don't, cameo. Don't, don't, don't discredit <laughs> yourself. You know what I'm saying? No, because, no, no, no I will because, say because this. it's a half. It's a half and half. I will say. Someone's. I think you know. You guys have brought the best out of each other. Some of the best bars I've heard yeah. from you guys have been on this project from each of you. Thank guys. you, thank you. Nah, seriously, this yeah. this project. I keep saying I don't know if you think I'm being sarcastic. I always, <laughs> but uh, no, no, no. This this album definitely. It's like I it's I haven't heard an album like I enjoy dissecting. You know what I mean? Just like yeah. listening to it, just as a lyricist. You know? Yo, that means a lot. Yeah, and just you. uh, just for me to rewind and be like, oh, that's I like how they said that or what they're saying. I think it's very. Oh, you rewind it and everything? Every, every, you know. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I, I, first, <laughs> I recorded it on tape first. You know what I mean? Name five bars first. <laughs> 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 well, so, what, Smiles and Tribulations, um, What what's the whole idea behind that title? Well, the whole premise came from, it. like, the, the hero's journey, how it's, it's a circle and it starts from the top and it goes down to the to the tribulations part, right, right, tribulations, right. and it goes back and the hero ends up going yeah. home. You find um, yourself. Yeah, you find you yourself. Go all I'm this. more yeah. confused than before the question right now. <laughs> Wait, you try one more time. All right, let's backtrack. Right, so, smiles and tribulation is from a hero's. journey. What's a hero's journey? The hero's journey is. Um, I do. You do it. <laughs> God damn it. All right. 
All right, hold up. Clean slate. All right, All right. so uh, smiles and tribulations just came from the idea of like just us as as artists and as people growing through life. Like you know, you go through all the bullshit, you go through all you know, just all the speed bumps that that come up, and even through all that, just like simply even through all that, we are gonna smile through it. We are gonna push on. Right. We, we gonna right. get through to the other side. And I feel like this album, like musically, it kind of captures that in its essence because it's not like all turn up shit. Mm. It's not all like on some ignorant you're stuff. Right, like you're right. I feel like we're very like introverted people at heart. And mm. I think the music kinda shows that too. Mm. It's like it's like type of music that you could enjoy by yourself. I don't know. That's like how I see I it. feel that. I think there's a there's a big you guys are going through that time in your yes. lives and what you guys rap about where it is about a lot of the the hard work you're putting into mm -hmm. it and it's in the lyrics obviously mm -hmm. about the grind and all that and it makes sense because that's what you guys are probably yeah. going through right now it's yes. it's hard right it's yeah. like a very hard process yeah. but you know it's like anything else you just keep creating bullets yeah. and yeah. one of them's gonna hit something you know it's like that's how how this game goes yeah i think this album really did capture the trials and tribulations like that's what we're going through like you said like right, right. now but we always talk about like we're so blessed to have people listen to us like you know uh, i we don't have like a nine to five job like we do what we want to do we found our passion early yeah. age and we we're, we're making money from it so it's still part of the smiles yeah of my life of our life so it's, so we just kind of did the wordplay on the trials and tribulations and mm. just smiling through the hard times and still you know having the gratitude and feeling blessed yeah i like the contrast you know the smiles and like the hard times and the good times yeah. you know the yin and the yang yeah like i feel like in a duo all the greatest duos they always had that that mm, contrast yeah. you know not not only just not only in the characters but also because there's two different people like in the music you can kind of see that split too <clears throat> yeah. you know what i mean right and so yeah auto, like sonically i definitely hear that like your energy and then sometimes you're laid back and it, it meshes very yeah. nice you know how, I mean? how has it been working together uh, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's fun. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> when did you guys? Jesus. When did you guys decide? So hence the, the, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, is there any difficult moments, or is it, or has it been pretty easy for the it's most part? Pretty it's pretty natural. Pretty, yeah, it it's has. natural. Yeah. yeah. So one of the oh, so we dropped a video today called High Hopes, and mm. honestly, I thought I wrote a verse to it, thinking I was gonna be a feature on it, mm. and just just kind of made it into the album. So I was like, oh, nice. Yeah, like, a lot <laughs> of the songs just like came together. Yeah, and it was either. It's like, hey, you go in the studio? Like, I, right, I'll pull up too. I yeah. know. We go right. make a so song. We like, just hey. chill and kick it, yeah. make the song. Like, oh, this is dope. It's shout out Big Banana, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout shout out to Banana. we blacked out on this album. Produced shout a lot of Doomsday. stuff for everybody. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Sig. Yep. Sig. Um, yep. What I mean, what have you guys found to be some of the most difficult process of working here in the states mm. or doing this independently more than anything? Oh, not the, not just in the states. The but biggest thing is financial. Like, just everything coming out of your own pocket. It's like ah. <laughs> yeah, Damn, like, but obviously yeah. you guys have the confidence that it's gonna pay back, pay it back. Yeah, you know? yeah, all that for stuff sure. Self investment. I, I think so. But yeah, <laughs> I, would I would like say, to think so. I would say the hardest part for me so far has been like, like creating the content is not difficult. Creating the music is not hard because you know we love to do it. But I would say the hard part is packaging that in a way where the audience can receive it and connect and also like want to share it and right. let that like go out into the world yeah and i feel like that's something that you are like really good at because i feel like you Should you can you connect <laughs> well don't look that yeah, <laughs> yeah because you know like just you as a musician and as an entertainer like you've done things that have like you know like shook the culture a little bit like move people you know especially with your like video ideas and yeah. I, think, I think you have great ideas so like that part has always been something like i've been trying to focus on like how can i i can make the music but how can i get this to people and for them to be like like oh i love this i well, think you guys got yeah. something really strong honestly the what's coming out the rollouts the quality looks great you, you I and mean, there aren't really many duos oh shit i forgot about these <laughs> uh, <laughs> shout out city yeah oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. are you guys a duo now or is uh, it still like whose album is this this, oh, is this is a, a this is a collaborative album. it's a collaborative album, album but you guys are doing yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i think it's a good uh it's you guys i feel like it helps both of y'all because it, it looks so different from sure. anything else that's out right now thank you yeah. thank you and i really feel like there's not 
a lot of like really true hip hop artists trying to like focus on bars and like music itself. Like our our Besides gen- the age, like generation. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like I hear what Gino's saying about the packaging and all that, and that's definitely true. But I think good music and the product, you know, the quality of the product will ring true. Even if yes. it doesn't happen immediately. Facts. Yeah. Like, you know, people revisit yeah. an album and be like, oh shit, like it gives breath. Like, you know, the LOX Dipset battle. I don't know if you guys mm. saw yeah, that. Yeah. What'd you guys Probably, feel yeah. about that? I cried, man. That was definitely one. That was for the... You cried. Yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, just, no, classic, for real, like, as, as a rap head, just like when, when Jada Kiss was like right in the front. Yeah. Just going off and every other bar, the crowd is just wowing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It bro. felt it felt good for the culture. Yeah, so yeah. Good. It felt good. But I love this whole like versus series. It yeah. like I feel, it brings new life to all the OG, the classic rappers. I was mm-hmm. thinking yeah. that with you know when Swiss and Timbaland came up with that. That's crazy. How yeah, that, that, really, that was a, that that was a beautiful crazy, thing that yeah. they did. That was a beautiful thing for the culture. Oh my that they that's did. crazy. Oh, for music, not even just hip hop. Yeah. For music. No, bro. yeah, yeah. For and sure. that's gonna go off everywhere can you my korean verses that's gonna go crazy bro oh, oh sh- who do you yeah, think who do you think will go with verses like who would tiger jk go with oh man that's i mean that's your like, boss right there hmm. like dynamic duo <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah it should be like yeah, dynamic yeah. duo versus like epic high or something uh yeah I was thinking more like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. I would like to see that here mm. in the U.S. They're gonna do that. Yo. <laughs> so they're definitely. Gonna, they're gonna do a. They That's got, gonna be hard. That's gonna be a pretty Christina hard. Christina Aguilera and Britney big Spears. Production. No, yeah. no, let's think bigger, bro. I'm thinking. H.O.T. and Jack's Kiss. Yo. Oh! S.E.S. and Finkel. Crazy. These are old uh, you know K-pop what I'm saying? Groups. Like, if yeah, we yeah. take it back, he's like, what? Yeah. J.L. J. L. Rick? J.L. Oh, lyrics? On, no? Dude. Yeah, 40-year-old Korean's gonna go crazy. <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 They're gonna post up by the lawn by Radio Korea with kimbap and shit. Like, let's go! <laughs> you know those, those yeah. balloons? <laughs> With the lights in it? Oh my god. Rick is, Rick is definitely crying. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, but the LOX dip set, it's just, it reminded me, just, you know, I mean, obviously, this performance, a lot of factors to it, but there was that moment I was like, yeah, man, true shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. sticking to the craft and honing it and sharpening it, it definitely pays off. Yeah. Well, those are joints that, yeah. you know, they have to stand the test of time. Yeah, you know those yeah. are the over twenty years old joints exactly. that are still here. Stuff that I forgot, like I didn't even remember. I was like, "Oh shit!" Mm-hmm. That one part when Joel's was like, "Yo, do you guys even like girls? Like, why are we? And, are and we then, in prison then, right and now?" Then, oh. Yeah, even a seven track combo. Yeah, because we're talking about this, they don't realize that like Jada Kiss was the go to feature for R and B joints around that time. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? It was fucking crazy. Um, do you guys miss anything about Korea? Korea. Oh, the oh, yeah. food are definitely. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Food fire? Korean food is fire in K-Town. I mean, like, it's the, the price has definitely gone up here, though. Oh, uh, the like, price? Yeah, you yeah, missed yeah. the prices? I mean, well, <laughs> like, we honestly, got a haggler in the house. Yo, like, yo, yo. yo. <laughs> I, I've been, a budget, baby. I'm such a big foodie that in the past eight and a half years I was in Korea, like, I would go, you know, eat mm. one of the best food ever. And, like, mm. over here, I'm not, trying to, foodie, I'm, not, right. yeah, I'm not trying to pay $25 for a long time. I don't think he's a foodie, bro. Let's take, yo, let me say this right now. Damn. You know, there's people that just act, be- yo hold up. Let me say this. You know, people who act like they're foodies, but they're just super picky. Feel like you're talking about yourself. No, but you <laughs> see now you're wrong. I'll eat. I'll just eat because you're overweight, bro, that doesn't make you a foodie. So do you think he's you're more of, the- of a foodie than Rick is? I want to. I don't. I mean, look wise, I would say he's more of a foodie. Nah, foodie doesn't mean you're <laughs> overweight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I am definitely picky about my food, but I think I know. I mean, I think I have a better palate. Let me tell you one thing that people know about me is that I have no respect for foodies. Because I feel like people who... Because we, food. we all love food. Food is food. We all love food. I'm not going to give, I'm not gonna give you food? a title because you eat food. I'm a foodie. Motherfucker, what? You're going to put that on your business card? The fuck out of here, bro. I don't respect foodies. I just feel like foodies are people like, you know, they're like, this could have used a little... It, you is, know, it is the hottest... Talentless talent out there. A it critic. is the best talentless thing out there right now, being a foodie. What is your favorite thing to eat in Korea? Uh, what was your spot? Dang. Um, we both like uh, Pyong Ningmyeon, the North Korean Ningmyeon. I love Pyong That's what That's what I miss in that Korea. Shit. Everyone loves that shit. Reckless. You love it too? I love that shit. So what Man, is it about? What is that. it about? I want to hear from you because you've talked about it a lot. But what what is it about the... Uh, so the first time you eat it, you're going to be confused. Yeah. It tastes like water. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, but then 
but then like there is this slight taste to it because of that broth you know it's like it's like a very light beef flavor is this similar it, is it made similarly like normal name yeah no i've not at all. i don't think so okay. yeah. i think it's like some kind of special north korean recipe that would be some north korean shit where they're like there's no flavor but use your imagination <laughs> 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 That's what's happening to it you. Might be that. What yeah. they did they was got they, got they took me. all the, <laughs> they took all they the flavor me. out of regular cold noodles, <laughs> and then finally you you're using your imagination yeah, like yeah. how we're supposed to right, be right, using. Right, we yeah. don't need extra I reached, reasoning. I reached Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. So, you, so it's clean. It's like this. Subtle. Yeah. It's like a subtle beef flavor. Right. I, don't, I don't even know how to explain it. But after the after the first time, I was like, huh, I kind of want to taste that again. So I went back and I tried it. I was like, all right, it's still kind of bland, but. I think I taste it. Is it true that they kind of frown upon you using the sauces? You don't use the sauces either? I don't use the sauces. But then it's there for for your use, you know? But I did hear in North Korea, like, it tastes way different than the the version of what they... Who'd you hear from? (laughs) 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 Who told you this? Well, there's North Koreans leaving Yelp reviews or what? (laughs) Celebrities go to North Korea. (laughs) (laughs) This may be my last message. (laughs) So let me critique it very detailed. (laughs) Y'all are immature as fuck. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not appropriate. Nah, I'm done. I'm done. (laughs) <laughs> I'm done. Um, uh, but yeah, like uh, the broth itself is so subtle that I feel like it, you get to focus on like small detail. It's kind of like saying. tofu. I know what you're saying. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, you yeah. eat tofu, and what does that taste like? Mm. Like tofu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it doesn't really have a have a. Yeah, taste. but I drowned that tofu in that soy sauce pot <laughs> sauce, man. Yeah, yeah, then you're just see. eating soy sauce. Yeah, man. Yeah, but. You guys eat tofu just by itself? <laughs> no, like, we always eat it with, like, really. tubu the kimchi. Kanjang, yeah, yeah, with the yeah. soy sauce. And you the, guys are making yeah. it. I mean, the only time I'll eat it raw is, like, if we fry it on a little bit and we get that, you know? What, what's the biggest food that you guys missed? Like, biggest American food you guys missed when you guys were out mm, there? Good question. Tacos. 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 They, they really? Don't, tacos. They don't do tacos right there? I mean, there's some dope spots. They but do. I mean, same thing. Like, I don't want to pay, like, $7 for, like, a small taco. I mean, Western like, foods and are more expensive out cilantro. there. I know yeah. that. Right. It's very expensive. Yeah, very yeah expensive. in Korea. Like, they... So, limes and avocados, like, really expensive. So, it's definitely, like, one of those. Like, I would... When I come here, I was like, oh, my God, avocados are so cheap. I want yeah. some guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> so so you moved out here just for the price you were just like yeah, said, <laughs> you were yeah, like i miss when things are cheap yeah, yeah basically so funny. um yeah man uh so let's go back to this <laughs> sorry i just got distracted a little bit um oh i was let's talk about that distractions so what kind of distractions do you face out there i i, I talk about this a lot for artists because you know, to make art, you have to hone in and right. sit yeah. down, right? Like yeah. you need self-discipline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What are some distractions out there as opposed to distractions out here? I mean, probably You're like just a, getting drunk. Yeah, nightlife. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I remember, you get I remember we had here. this conversation oh, uh, in, about it, LA, easy. how people can get lost in the sauce because the weather's so nice and yeah. whatnot. And I think that's the same thing about Korea. Everything's accessible. Everything's 24 hours. For sure. You could drink at like six in the morning, seven in the morning. No one would judge you. Like alcohol mm-hmm. is very like you know praised upon in Korea, so it's yeah. very normal. It's part of it's your like, life, and yeah. like and and also, it's not as natural making music there in Korea. I feel like over, to over here, I could just go to the the homies' place and just just vibe out, have a drink, and just like make songs, fuck around. Yeah. But just feel like everything in Korea was just very just very corporate based. Like you need to have like rules and laws and like. Well, stuff, I think so. that that also comes from like the people that surround you yeah you know what i'm saying because right, right, yeah. if you're surrounded by those kind of people then you live that lifestyle you, yeah i'm just Even saying all, America, i'm worse, just saying off know? of yeah off of my you know right, distractions right, right. and my experience yeah so i definitely got drunk a lot and just kind of pushed back like pushed the the music for a little bit yeah at one point yeah i'm getting drunk bro <laughs> Shit. how about you do you know what was like it's the same thing it's pretty much nightlife and just going out that's a dist- that that mm. was probably the biggest distraction. Just like yeah, I mean, what just else? The ease, be, yeah. Honestly, it's like, just the ease of going question. out and then like you know friends visit because right. everyone's visiting Korea. So yeah, it's all like, hey, true, I'm true. here like for a week. All right, I guess that is very true. We're going to do a bunch of stuff. Had very different label experiences out there. Like you were with Highlight Records mm-hmm. and you were with um, Feel Good with Drunken Tiger, um, which I want to talk a little bit about that experience too because it was it must kind of been an honor, right? Like this dude who has Los Angeles roots, who kind of yeah, yeah. Had, took a similar journey as you. He went out yeah. there and learned yeah. a language. Definitely. And, and <laughs> I mean, he's still there. So, he, yeah. you know, he never really came back. Yeah. But um, how was that? Like, did, was that was that kind of uh, 
what kind of feeling was that with him looking at you and Did being kind good? of seeing <laughs> he probably felt like he looked at you like oh he might he kind of feels like the younger version of me or something yeah you know i I did feel a sense of like honor and you know I I have huge respect for that man and as an artist and just as like a human being too because like he's such uh like a empathetic like he's a very thoughtful person and I learned a lot just from being in his label and like under him as yeah because he he did say like things like oh you're like a younger me and like other people would say yo like you're you're like a younger version of tiger jk and to me it's like damn that's a lot of yeah weight (laughs) (laughs) on those words you know what i'm saying it's like i'm just trying to be me (laughs) yeah 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 Yeah. Yeah. but but it was it was an awesome experience like he he you know definitely he was like my sensei out there when it came to the music and um navigating the korean waters but one thing he always told me that stuck with me was like because he saw me trying to learn Korean and trying to be like Korean bars. like Yeah, yeah. So, but he always said like, hey, don't worry about that. Just be yourself. Yeah. And that's one thing that always like stuck to me. He was like, don't lose your flavor. And it, it comes out, it comes out easier when you be yourself. You know, like I've tried to write Korean bars in the Korean studio yeah. and ha- try to have him help me. And after like one session, I was like, you know what? Let's just make this album English. One session, <laughs> <laughs> AKA five hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then I went to bananas and I just did that silly yeah. low Conglish verse, and right, it right. came out fucking fire, you oh, know. Yeah. But the Baidwande? Yeah, 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 Baidwande. Yeah, Baidwande. Yeah, yeah. Baidwande. yeah, yeah. Um, and I was gonna say it's interesting because you were under Highlight Records that was founded by Palo Alto, Ooh. and he used to row with yeah. uh, Tiger J K. Yeah, that's crazy. When I first met Tiger J K, like Palo Alto was like his, you know, his side. Dude, yeah. um, doing shows together with Busy, yeah. you know, it's just like them two behind Tiger JK. So yeah. there's a lot of connection OGs, right there. Yeah, that's crazy. There's OGs. a lot of connection. OGs to here. like this next generation. Um, where do you guys see like this um, kind of this next journey after this album? And what would you guys like want out of your careers here? You know, um, what what would be the next big thing for y'all? Oh man, that's a tough question. Uh. I'm like even with during uh, the finishing of the album, I was always making like my solo stuff. So right now I'm just focused on music, right. and I can't like I only have like a limited capacity space in my brain. So I'm just really trying to just focus on what like, what I love at the moment. <laughs> was that like funny? an idiot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you. Uh, no, no. But y'all want to y'all want y'all want to do show, y'all want to do shows and stuff, right? Like festivals yeah. and stuff. Yeah, if, yeah. I mean that's yeah. the goal right now. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. do tours. Just make just you know keep pushing music yeah. and just not stopping. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I, I would just, like to see that show though. Y'all two just going back and forth on oh, raps. Man, yeah, yeah. Have you guys done any live performances together? Uh, we like, have. Yeah, we th- have. Yeah. Oh, you have. I mean, well, I mean, for this album, we haven't. Oh man. So but, what's the live stream is first before Atlanta, or was it after? Yeah, that's first. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah, yeah. We're gonna be shooting that this week. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. And then the Atlanta show. Yeah, that that's gonna be fun because it'll be our first time like on stage together after like yeah. the pandemic yeah so i've been i've been craving to just like oh trust perform. me perform sure. everybody has though even at yeah, a you touch know? show uh last you week, went crazy yeah, bro it was, it was it was a breath I'm of fresh air yeah. this motherfucker hopped on stage and yeah. went crazy yeah. bro it like was, that was just like you know just all he went up up and yeah. around, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, two brain cells. <laughs> I was looking, I was like, damn, like everybody need to turn up. So I just went and just Wait, how know. many songs did you do? I just did a verse, like just a verse. You <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> came out like went crazy for a verse. Nah, you went Six, my God, 16 baby. bars. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Damn, I think know. it was 12. I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like I went on stage and I forgot the hook to Young, <laughs> and the Wait, hook is Young, Young, Young. young, young. young is young. it four times or five uh, times? Yeah, young, it's just Young. In your head, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny. No, nah, that, that shit was lit. I, yeah, I want to. Uh, can we still, can we try to run that little live performance or what? Yeah, let's, let's do try it. to do it. Let's try to do it. There might be a little oh, echo, yeah. but we're gonna try to do it. You guys, you guys, down oh to, shit, we gonna. Oh yeah, sure. You guys try uh, down and tr- do it. Yeah, sure. I want to just try, try something different oh, on yeah. this episode. I want to try to try. something. Yo, put ones in the chat if y'all want to see a little line. live performance shit. of a, of a song oh, right now. Let me see them ones in the motherfucking chat right now, y'all. Throw them ones in the air, y'all. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay. We got a two. Uh, I don't uh, think we're uh, doing it. Yeah, what is the, yeah, the two? We're not, we're not the two it. is like <laughs> the shit. Uh, Time out that too. <laughs> uh, we could do it at the end of the. You, could, you can set it up, Alex, and we can wait until the end. Um, oh, you have it loaded up. All right, you guys down to run this or what? Yeah, sure. Let's just run it real quick. Yes, two minutes. This is the first time we've ever really done this too. Yeah. So this is this could be a good little inaugural. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. You're not. No, 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 no. We good. We good. All right, here we go. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, exclusive fun with dumb G2 Juno flow. Let's go. Thanks for the intro. It's gonna be that low. Can we turn it up? I've been just struggling just to go off, stumbling, trying to get up. You can smell trouble in us, that shit been bubbling up. We got the supplement cut, establish the covenant. I got the faith of the Lord in me. Never will be creeping, not just act accordingly. The way he absorbing me. I started riding, shit, get it lit up the fire inside of me, getting too wicked. I'll tell you we different, but you wouldn't get it till you looking past the seams in the stitching. Look, young fly guy making entrance with a suicide dope flexing. Nick with deception, but lane I'm switching, the team I'm switching, moving the pen like I intended. It's evident they wanna pray for my downfall, they stuck on that pan. Yeah. We cooking up up with the sauce, like I be trapping the pantry. Couple of bandits, light up the blunt, we get the party, no cameras. We don't fuck with the ops. I ain't speaking to grandma. I got my own demons in question. I got my whole fan to be blessing. I'll take a loss as a learned lesson. I'll be your boss till I turn to ashes. I need advances with a check is. We playing chess, bitch, ain't no checkers. I put my diamond under pressure. That ain't no cap, messer from the neck up. I'm fighting the wind. Cut full of sin. Hopped in the bins, out the lens. We taking a stand. What the fuck are you saying? I'm fighting the wind. Cut full of sin. Hopped in the bins, out the lens. We taking a stand. What the fuck are you saying? I hit the block and I'm running. Yeah. I need that fatty on fatty. Yeah. Gang on me, I cannot let him down. Damn. Beef on me, you better dead it now. now. If you fed up, get your bread up. Uh. Now I'm fed up, getting fed up. Yeah. Break away and fuck a label. Uh. We the alpha and omega. The fuck are you saying? I got a chip on my shoulders, I better get bolder Center of gravity, nothing can hold us Ten toes and the letter to go, we gotta stay focused yeah. I got the faith that I am the chosen I got the work, you got emotions I caught the work, you caught emotions Look, uh. I get emotional when I see my people winning Cause I know that our potential is infinite They said I got, got a plan for you I'm perched on the roof, God go you G2 gon' scope it with third eye yeah. Skywalking like a Jedi, Jedi. Uh. Jump in a jet on a red eye Look, I'm gone bitch, that's just what I do I'ma go 10 Going super sin, they try to go 10, but I'm getting buckets in. We in the building like we in security, walking south, fighting the wind. So fuck it, I'm on one. Adderall got me so sudden and calm up. I accepted the power, open the gates, now we marching with numbers. We fighting the wind, block full of sin. Hopped in the bands, out through my lens. We taking a stand, the fuck is you saying? I'm fighting the wind, block full of sin. Hey, hopped in the bands, out through my lens. We taking a stand, the fuck is you saying? Yeah. Yes, sir. Buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay. Low count. G2, so Juno Flow. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever done this on the Fun With Dumb podcast. I, 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 I was definitely not ready for that. So, yeah. like, like, in the middle, I kind of warmed up. Like right, 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 right. How's everybody feeling? How's everybody feeling in the Yo, chat, man? Flame emojis in the chat if you fuck with that. Yo, first time ever on the chat. Nice, that felt good. That felt great. You got to do that more often, man. But, yeah, but you know, <laughs> at one point, right? We were bobbing our head at the same time. <laughs> and then, like, we were like this. We looked like two. I just, she's looking at it, just like, oh, shit. This is, this is versus. Like, yeah, the Korean variety shows yeah. when they have, like, the rappers on and the other, like, old comedians yeah, are like, like, oh. <laughs> we, were doing. we were doing that at the same speed, and I hated myself for a second. <laughs> I hated myself. <laughs> no, nah, that that was great, man. And I think uh, that's going to set a tone for future episodes too. We might oh, have to, might have to nice. run that. Nice, honored. That was a knockout right there. That was nice. That was real nice. knockout. That nice. felt good. Now I was nervous good. because I was like rapping in front, right, right in front of y'all, and like I have this like you know. So I, 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 I act like I don't, but I do have like this high level of respect for y'all. And like I've oh, always, you, I always, whenever yeah. every time I write and like do a song, I always send it, you know, to him so I can mm. get like that affirmation. Like, is this dope? How you was get this? a response or what? Nah, like <laughs> come on, 60, 40, 60 percent of the time. What kind of response do you get? You know, I say, do you critique it? Critique it? He does like random shit. He's like, what are you doing? Like, mm. I send him a song. He's like, what are you doing? And then well, we no, won't no, talk like, for like a week. Yeah, like we on the song, it. what are you doing? Or no, or we, like, that's the thing. Doing? He would reply with like a "What are you doing?" Uh, <laughs> no, like he no, would no, reply no, no. with like something completely different, no, or not he'll reply send at me, all. He'll send me tracks or like uh, things to read. I'll be like, "Yeah, that was really good," or you know, I, I think. It are could you giving be... cri constructive criticism or not? I wouldn't say it's constructive. It sounds <laughs> <It's> not constructive. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, I mean, I'm just joking. But you know, it's just you know, I think he does have this high regard for us. So just us reading it. And as as you know, keeping Yo, first him accountable, of all, who we have gives to let a him fuck know. what we think, <laughs> exactly. dude. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, man. But like, I I want to impress like you know other dope artists. That's uh, that, yeah. I mean, to be honest, 
you shouldn't give a fuck what either one of us thinks. I don't think he does. Because trust really. me, I, I don't think I, he I gives don't. a fuck when you send them the track. To be honest, you know, so just just get the <laughs> yeah, same energy. He's not even head like. Just send yeah. him back yeah. the same <laughs> energy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, but it's for me. You know when you make a song, like you want to like show it to people, and I, right, you right, know, right. I just, you know, just someone that's like close to me, like on the chat, like I just send it. Nah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. As long as you love him, man. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I think I'm dope. Yeah, I'm I love myself. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up, man. Thanks. Well, um, I sounded great. I hate the contrast, all that. that, that crazy, no, I, I was really feeling that. Yeah. Like, I, I think this, this, this works. That when you have a duo, you gotta have this back and forth energy For that sure. works. Which you do, you yeah. have with JL, you know, everything. But you know? the, there's so much contrast there because I think when you with JL, it kind of goes very just smoothly. Like you guys have mm -hmm. a very like fluid flow, the yeah. similar. But y'all kind of have a very different flow and different voice drastically. Yeah, and it fucking works. Mm. Nice, thanks. I'm excited, <laughs> Thanks, guys. Smiles Wait, to they're turning into smiles now. Oh, I'm all smiles, baby. Got the song done. We're gonna take some calls. Take some uh, calls. We wanna, if, I'm sure there's fans in this chat. I know, like Shan is a huge fan um, all across the land. Um, just Yo, so, someone said Method Man, Red Man Energy. That's oh, my shit. favorite duo of That's all time. Nice. That's what's up. Blackout. So it's, uh, hit us up on the Discord. We want to take some calls from you. We got fans. We got listeners from all over the world. Hit us up. Let us know how you felt about the performance, what you think about the album. Mm. Um, if you guys been following individually these gentlemen for a long time, let us know. This is your chance right now to talk to them directly. No meet and greet ticket prices. I promise you. <laughs> right now, just hit us up. Um, Yo, honestly, that's one of the great things that Dumb does for this podcast, man. Just that immediate. You're going to be talking to we're gonna talk to some people right now, straight to G two and Juno Flow, ladies and gentlemen. You and and uh, before we even go to that, I want to take a while we uh, accumulate the calls right now. Let's get um Alex to um. How did you feel about that performance, Alex? Yeah, Alex review in thirty seconds. Oh shit! You got his <laughs> own camera. Oh, dude, nice. Yeah, um, G two. Oh, there's no mic there. Right. There, you know, it's good. Always great to see you, man. Yeah, yes, sir. This duo works. Like the visuals <laughs> tight, the, the voice, the voice is tight. I'm definitely about the the contrast. Like that's definitely, um, you know, just distinct voices is something like like I really I really treasure. So you guys nice. got some. Really yeah, yeah. Do we get a chain? Do we get a chain for show me? Yeah, the, I feel like yeah, I was yeah. a <laughs> Alex. Like I was show me the money. <laughs> Alex to be the wild card judge on Show Me the Money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're like, who do we? Huh? Who is that? <laughs> Um, Alex, um, do you, you have a, <laughs> do you have an ain't, we like to do this thing called Alex's ancient Asian facts. Mm -hmm. Um, and I want to know, Alex, do you have any, um, a piece of Asian history you'd like to share with listeners? Cause we love getting educated on these things Alex from you. Ancient Asian. Almanac. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's give him the mic real quick. One. I gotta talk about these, um... All right, go ahead, Alex. We're going to be talking about dolmens go. today. This is kind of a, a Ooh, archaeological man. sort of uh, sort of phenomenon here. Wait, okay. what are we doing right now? We're this, talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me set this up. This is every episode we like to share an ancient Asian fact, okay. our almanac, if you will, from Alex, because he just he does a lot of history, mm -hmm. like Asian mm -hmm. Asian history. So tell us about this, Alex. So today we're talking about dolmens. These are rock structures, and there's a very very high density of them in Korea. I think. 40% of the of the world's dolmens are can be found in Korea. Um, it's these two rocks propped up by one bigger rock and they're these ancient things. No one really knows exactly how they how they uh, Formed. came to be or like why there's so many all over the world, but most of them in mm -hmm. Korea. And some have been tied to like astrological charts, like they'll like carve little uh, little notches like in where the stars are. Do people think it's like alien related or anything? Uh, There's probably it, theories like that, right? It could be, yeah. The um, like but how, but majority of these are in Korea. The majority saying? of them, wow. yeah. So the Korean Peninsula is home to over thirty five thousand of these, which is about 40 percent of the world's total. Wait, thirty five thousand? There's thirty five thousand of these in Korea? That's, yes, there are, and that's forty percent of the world's the world's oh, versions. Crazy. Like the, the largest one. You know, in Korea, it's like. Some Yo, did they ever try to d dig it up? Dude, Wait, how how heavy is the top rock? How is that even possible? That looks very that hard looks, to do, big. bro. Yeah, I mean, the, like it's just like constructing the pyramids. So I guess this is probably how they did it, but it's still like a, <laughs> a, a, a balance. This is actually <laughs> hand drawn by Alex yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> Follow him on Tumblr. Oh, I get it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Put it on uh, the uh, put it on the, the screen, bro. Um, but yeah, so that's it's just there's an uh, incredibly high amount of dolmens in Korea, 
which I, I always thought was uh, very interesting. Oh, so that's okay. Okay, okay. it's a little trick. It's a little yeah, trick. It's a little trick. I didn't know they used the land. Yeah. To dig it out. I see. Really cool. I is see. the word dolmen? Is that English or is that like oh. a Korean like tol tolmen? Tolmen. <laughs> tol like <laughs> yeah. like you know rockmen. Like yeah. Rock yeah. Men? <laughs> okay. Well, that has been Alex's, Alex's ancient Asian, Asian almanac. All right, let's go to Discord, guys. We're gonna take some calls over here. We got. <laughs> We got a first call here from Ty. What's up, Ty? You are on the air. Oh, what's up, bro? What up, bro? What's up, man? Yo. How you doing? Yep. Go ahead. We on? Oh, I got. Y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah bro. we can hear you. That's dumb. <laughs> oh, yeah, I kind of lagged. Right I kind of lagged behind the stream, so I couldn't. You gotta, uh, you gotta listen to it on the Discord and not the oh, stream, listen, not listen Twitch. Listen to it on the Discord. Yes, yes sir. So how do I? I'll, I'll, by the way, I'm a big fan. A dumb. I've been listening to you since I was like five years old because I'm I'm an O2 baby. So my hey, wait, wait, hold on. Oh let me, man, let me, let me, hold on. Let me just hold on. Right. O2 baby. Yeah. So, I'm O2 baby. Why do you have a 37 year old voice? I can't, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yo, I can't even fathom this shit. That's crazy. So, hold bro. On. Oh, oh, yo, is this T Kev? Yeah. Hey, what's up, bro? How you been, Juno? Chilling, man. Uh, he's on the Discord, too. So, yeah. So I'm I, one of the Martin Juno you know, servers. Since yeah. five years old? Damn. Wow. Yeah. That's Damn, love. I'm fucking old as fuck. Yeah, how do you feel yeah. deep inside when you when you hear that? I've been I've been listening to you since five years old, yo. I feel like I should be rapping like "What you hear is not a test." <laughs> I'm from K Town, from the West. I got it. <laughs> oh shit! I should be like they should call me Grandmaster Dumb. That's how I feel like. That's what my name should be. Hey, yeah. Down for yeah, man. What, what's good to... though, man? Um, you you uh you seem like did you just hit puberty what the fuck your voice yeah, is your deep voice as fuck <laughs> oh, yeah, god I'm, damn yo, bro yo, i'm an o2 baby I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm gen z <laughs> <laughs> god damn what's up Todd? so man i don't know how the whole discord stream thing works is it I think you got. I think we I mean, got you just talk and we answer. <laughs> yeah, I think we're oh, good. Now. I can just ask whatever question. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so whatever yeah, you, you want to ask us. Whatever. Oh, I think so, you were going down the line about being fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, how knowing how y'all are, especially like OGs are for the younger generation. How does that really make you feel, knowing that you inspired a lot of people? It really is the only thing that keeps us going, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally the only thing that makes me oh, not yeah. jump off this building right here. <laughs> um, no, it's great. It's great. I said, mean, no, it's great. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, here's the thing. And every artist is going to go through this. You're going to mm -hmm. have to remind yourself that you're dope or you're capable of things. You know, every artist. Like every album is a process you have your lows mm -hmm. and you just gotta sometimes listen to your old shit or something to inspire yeah, you again and yeah. remind yourself that you can do it because sometimes like that's a thing you, you realize you all of a sudden you're like fuck i just can't do it anymore or whatever yeah. and you listen you're like oh wait i did it before i could right. do it over again yeah. and over again and then the inspiration part is, is huge you know when you mm -hmm. look at artists that you're a fan of or you like and that person tells you that you inspired them. Like sometimes it's a, it's been a shock. Like I've had artists that I've been a fan of. I follow wow. them and they hit me back. Like I yeah. used to listen to you. I'm like, yeah. what? Like that's a surprise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That uh, that's you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know why I'm turning into a 1930s mobster, <laughs> but okay. But yeah, I mean, all that stuff is is, is great. It just it's just like a um, back and forth like inspiring thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's uh, all, that, and it's uh, great. It's fantastic, bro. Yeah. Um, just, you know that that quote that. That uh, Pac said, you know, yeah, I, I might not be idea. the guy, <laughs> but I'll inspire mm, the sure. next guy. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm, for sure. I'm sure that's not the quote. Is that your old bars? Right yeah, yeah like, I believe that was in the rose that grew from the concrete slab. Oh, no. um, yeah, that's what's up, Ty. Well, thanks for calling, bro. Appreciate you, man. And no, um, peace, thanks for bro. Me on. peace, brother. No, peace, appreciate it. Uh, Drizzy Drake, what's up? Six got. <laughs> Hello? Yep. Yo, what's up? Oh, it's what's not up? Drake. I was expecting Who is this? 
Uh, where you my, my, like my real name or like... Where are you, where are you calling from? I'm going to... We could oh, play a game shit. of Minority Report. This is the game where uh, Rick guesses the ethnic background of the person. And I'm going to take a mm. guess. I'm going to say Korean. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That laugh, <laughs> that on, laugh, dude. that's a Korean that's a laugh if I ever bar. heard one. <laughs> Who said a Miyokuk laugh? That's a Miyokuk laugh. Huh? You're from Diamond Ball. You're a Korean yeah. as fuck. Come on, you're man. Korean to the second power. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's up, Jersey? Yo, what's up? Yeah, I just want to say it. I love Gino Flow and G2, both from Show Me the Money. You know, representing hey. Korean Americans. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is that it? No, that was, no, yo, I, I have a, I have a, a question for uh, I have a question for Judo and G two. You know, hey, what's what next, guys? You guys gonna get Kanye on a track or something? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I wait, is this you? really Drizzy Drake? <laughs> <laughs> now the funniest shit is like this that like when fans or something would be like, yo, what are you gonna get Eminem on a track? <laughs> it's just like, come on, fam. Like, <laughs> we're trying. Yeah, we're yeah. trying over the, here. Um, yeah. But you know what though? I appreciate when cats also ask that kind. Of, it's, it seems like unfathomable, but the fact that they actually yeah. think that yeah, you might be yeah. able to do yeah. that, yes, it's kind of respectful yeah. Yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, so you've been a fan. You've been a fan of these guys or what? Uh, I I mean I'm watching them on Show Me the Money, but like I haven't really listened to Korean music since then. I didn't even know they were in America. To be honest, I just hopped on your stream because I saw. Hey, bro. It. Hey, bro. We just dropped the album. It's all in English. Go listen to that. Mm. Smiles hey, and tribulations. Guys. Smiles and Tribulations out now, bro. Make sure you're following down Spotify, YouTube, everything. Wait, wait. wait, wait. wait. I thought we were putting you on. What the fuck? Oh, shit, he fucked me up. I'm like, should I check it out? I was like... <laughs> It's on Spotify. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah, um, well, Drizzy Drake, go peep it out. It's on every streaming platform. It's in English. It's good. It's, it's, this is, you know. <laughs> right. It's in English. On, it's on. good. Yeah. Hold on. Dumb. We got to get you back to the music, bro. Go peep it out. <laughs> you say go peep it out. Bro. Yeah, go peep it out. Do I, am I sounding more washed Yo, with my terminology? I went to a <laughs> rap show just to peep it out. <laughs> <laughs> in this music game, if you don't peep out uh, rap shows uh, once in a while. Yeah, I'm not going to front. Here's yeah. the thing about, like, hints of starting to get washed it's like there's certain slang for sure that's reached our era yeah, where yeah. it sounds like we're trying to adapt it into our regular <laughs> language you can't even front right you know what i'm saying yeah. there's things that came and i was like it was a natural thing i was like i like looked in the mirror i was practicing the bitch i was like does that sound natural that's cap <laughs> that's, that's cap <laughs> like no cap and i looked no, around no, and no. Like, cringe. <laughs> anybody cringe all right we're good we're good i pulled it off that's what i was thinking in my head i pulled that shit off didn't yeah. i that sounded natural that sounded natural that bitch yeah. off all right well jersey drake thanks for calling let's get shan Thank wise you, on the air what's up shan Hey, can you uh, grab me a seltzer? Jesus. <laughs> wow. What's up, Shan? Get your fucking shit together. Let's go. <laughs> what up, Shan? So, Shan. All right, we're she skipping here? Shan. She, she's Jesus not here. Christ. Shan. God knows what she's doing. I could imagine Rick eating like a sundekuk and saying like, oh, this shit busting. All right, let's get young. <laughs> No cat. Young. <laughs> no cat. This shit no buzzing. Yo, hello. What's up, young? Yo. Yo, this is kind of crazy. Young. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm in the Bay right now. Ooh, shout out to the Bay. That's yeah, what's yeah, up, yeah. man. Are, um, are you a fan of these guys? Have you listened to their music? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, first, like, first of all, I gotta give a shout out to Dumb. I've been listening since like the YouTube era, you know, like Wax, EOM, RIP EOM. Yeah, we were making you know, YouTube videos when YouTube wasn't black and white. Shit. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, shout out Breezy Lovejoy. I don't know what happened to that guy, though. Uh, what you what? mean? What, what you mean? Are you Breezy about? Lovejoy became one of the biggest <laughs> artists of our generation. What? Anderson <laughs> Peck. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Oh, okay, playing. he's playing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was shocked. I was like, well, you're in for a treat. <laughs> Let me tell you. Now, um, uh, what's good, brother? You're, so you're in the Bay Area. What do you do? Are you a student? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing an internship right now. Uh, what are you interning in? Uh, computer science. I'm just working Sick. from home, coding, chilling. 
mm. nice and safe computer science yeah, I yeah. Saw you guys i had the opportunity to just fucking get in the discord randomly and talk to you guys it's crazy yeah man uh we're, we're we love talking to um the followers who's been following us for a long time i appreciate that for you following this long and and obviously it's happened to these guys because they're pretty much doing the same shit that, you know, we were doing in the beginning uh, yeah. stages of it. And even better, I would say the videos are so much better. A lot of the shit that we've been doing, we were doing. So, you know, follow these guys. Yeah. Man. I mean, I, I first listened to uh, G2 with the the mixtape he had with Keith Ape. Brainwash. Oh, yeah. Brainwash. Project yeah. Brainwash. A lot of cats yeah. don't even know about that history with you. Um, you yeah. had a whole project with Keith Ape. Yeah. You know? I, like everything just kind of happened. I just went to Korea, just yeah. met the dude. I was like, hey, let's make an album. Just made it. And that's how I got into Highlight. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that tape is slept on for sure. Like, It is a good tape. Thanks. That like, put me on to like, that whole crew. No cap. <laughs> that shit busting. <laughs> yeah. And like with Juno Flow, like. I figured it out through Show Me the Money, and then Word. the Statues album came out, and I fuck with that. Ooh, hey, that's I love, think bro, it's like thank one you. of the pretty historic Korean hip hop album. Wow, a what? historic, historic. Oh, he said historic. Yeah. Maybe in Yo. 20 years, Alex will share that piece of ancient <laughs> Asian almanac history. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me and Juno, we can do a little versus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually why why I called that album Statues too. Like that word you just used historic i'm not saying that shit is historic yet but oh wow. I, I named it statues because as artists or as like just great people when when you die like when you're when you pass yeah how do people remember you like right. if you move the culture if you did something that was that changed the world for they sure. make a statue of you yeah. so like for for us as artists that's like the goal like i want our music to remain where, and, where would you want a statue of yours you know laid out in like what part of the city koreatown koreatown <laughs> nah bro you gotta say ujongbu bro <laughs> <laughs> what streets <laughs> what streets y'all gotta find Name the like, intersection <laughs> hey don't gonna come at you and be like bro i already called dibs <laughs> that street i, already I, already see your, I, I bought the land already bro <laughs> <laughs> i bought the land you gotta pay me Can rent we statue where we're yeah. shaking hands yeah, <laughs> They're never naming a school after me. The dumbfounded <laughs> high school. No. Dumb high. Dumb, Dumb high. high. <laughs> Dumb high. Oh, um, is there anything else, Young, before school we move on? Rappers. What's up with you? Anything yeah, else you want to ask? ask you guys? So, like, you guys are, like, basically, like, all of you guys are Korean American, right? Yes, Basically, sir. yeah. So, like, how does... I, I'm just, like, wondering for you guys, like, artistically, like, how does that play in? Because, like, some, some, like, factor of, like, what you guys do as artists is, like the impact right the impact on the culture so like as korean americans it's kind of weird because like for me at least as a korean american it's like i don't really, like i struggle to like fit in like i'm not like korean enough to be like korean korean but like also it's like in america you're also like considered like just some asian dude so like how does that like being in a like speaking to a culture that's like in between things like how does that guy how does that like come into play in your guys work could i say one thing is like i'm, I'm really kind of just i'm tired of this narrative right where of this like we don't belong in asia or we don't belong here mm -hmm. you know we're not just some asian dude here yeah you know like it's like we at some point we just have to fucking just own the shit yeah. out of our mm -hmm. shit wear the culture on our sleeve and be confident about what the fuck we do you know, and I get it. Every different region is different. There's kids who grew up in the Midwest. Obviously, I grew up a little bit differently. I'm in Koreatown, Los Angeles, but I've also felt like an outsider amongst like other Koreans too. Nice. But you, that that ownership of yeah. who you are happens with yourself. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It doesn't happen with the landscape of Asian in, entertainment and representation. Mm -hmm. It happens in yourself, and, and you, everyone goes through that journey. You know what I mean? If you look at that as a disadvantage, then it's going to be a disadvantage for you. Yes. You know what I mean? You have to look at that. And that's as that reality and use it and counter it. And for me, like in my in my music and my art, that relatability, that in between has been kind of like my formula, you know, like I talk, I talk about trying to find myself within that. And I think without that, I wouldn't have much to say, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, we're not like, no, you know, here's the thing. We're Crazy, not just random people. When Crazy Rich Asians came out, at like first a all Asian cast in 20 years, I wasn't like, finally, I'm seen. You know what I mean? Like, no, nobody was. Asian power. Yeah, and then, you know, and then, you know, congrats. You know, these are big deals and big strides we're making, but you got to understand, like, everyone doesn't connect to those things. You know, mm -hmm. when I was young and I would see, like, 
maybe a Lucy Liu or a John Cho, I wasn't like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like nobody. You have to have people that speak to you in yeah. different voices. But a non-Asian person can bring out that pride of you being Asian in yourself too. Right. Definitely. A lot, and I think hip hop did that for us. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of mm -hmm. black artists in hip hop brought out the the pride of being Asian in ourselves. But what you because what you see in hip hop is being unapologetically black. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. so what that shows you is that you being unapologetically yourself is going to be what shines through whatever mm -hmm. art and how you get respect. No one li respects anybody who doesn't respect themselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. But w while you say that, I have to flip to the other side. It does speak to some people, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm not, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I like, get it. I think it is like there is a required time like for you to be hanging out with non-Koreans and just being a little more cultured from the jump. It like now allows you to think this way but mm -hmm. you know someone like me who's still trying to like you know i'm, I'm still breaking out of it and i have I, it's a, just a little behind you know what i mean but definitely yeah what dumb says right if you don't respect yourself they're not gonna respect you and i feel like listeners they know if you're genuine and how sincere you are of what you say and what you portray in your music and yeah. just, you know like in social mm -hmm. media or life so people know people if you like he said people know that you respect yourself and you think you're so dope and you you are who you say you are mm. people will know and that will go through their hearts and do it. yeah and then let's not get it twisted it's an incredible time to be asian in in america yeah you know i i i will say this it's like let me ask you guys this because obviously it's an incredible time to be asian in america has anything changed to be asian in asia <laughs> I mean, I grew up in Texas. I, I'm just curious. That's I mean, dope, has it dope. like, is it, you know, we see that in America, it's clearly like, yeah, yeah. even even everything with Stop Asian Hate has really put us into the forefront of conversation where people felt invisible until up to that point. They're like, people are like, oh, people are racist <laughs> yeah. to Asians. Like, people don't even yeah. know. Yeah. But in Asia, how you think that's mm -hmm. affecting anything in Asia? I, I kind of nah. feel like not that much. Probably. I, think, I, think, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's changed. The only much. difference is that people have more information. That's it. Right. That's it. Maybe Nothing Asians really give a fuck more about Asian Americans, yeah. though. But I mean, bit. I feel like everybody <laughs> had their own thing, but it just people are now able to express themselves all, through the Internet. And I think that's the only difference. Last question. Favorite track on the album? G2. Oh, shoot. I don't know. Okay. Ask him first. Juno. Ooh. And when I say favorite, it's like, not like you can't listen to other ones. It's yeah. what just resonates with you a little more. I would say, uh, just from like a, like a rap perspective, I like, I like Outlaws. Outlaws. Mm. Um, but from like, a, like, it makes me comfortable, like listening to it, I would say High Hopes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Saying uh, High Hopes, definitely. Um, I feel like it just really captured like that, what we, the dynamic of our, you know, our rap. Yeah. That video, is, it came out today, right? Yeah, it came, it came out, out at 12. Well, if you never heard the album, go check that song out yes, first sir. off the jump. Let's go to, uh, thanks, Young, for calling. Uh, let's go to Shan oh, we one have more time. Okay. Um, hopefully, Shan has figured this out. Can you download Discord on a Cricket phone? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what happened? No, 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 I'm What's kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We love Shan. <laughs> I just roast her all the time, and I'm like, yeah, we love her. <laughs> and then you ask why she hates you. <laughs> <laughs> Shan, I feel the same way. Shan, what's up? Shan. Please. Okay, no. Yeah, she has to figure that out. All right. Yeah. He gone. He gonna see. He gonna he see. Gonna see. Yo, you fucking doubted us. He gonna see. What's up? He gonna see. That's just Shan. Like, what? What you talking shit? Or it's Hejun Shi. I don't. Hejun. <laughs> Hejun. <laughs> no, it's either Hejun Shi. Hejun Shi. You're on the air. What's up? It's He gone. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> my bad. He was not pleased. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up, bro? Not much, man. Hey, uh, I'm a big fan of Juno Flow. Uh, you been listening to him since he was on the Show Me the Money, and my favorite, you, bro. Uh, favorite verse is like, "Nan, you are uki no me da like Chris Rock." That just got me laughing so hard, and uh, you know, <laughs> that was a Kilpo bars. I'm I'm actually really ashamed of that verse. Oh, for real? Okay, well, <laughs> that's that my favorite bar. Me. Like I hate it, <laughs> but I thank you. It. But thank you. You never yeah, know, uh, though. That's the thing, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. So my question is, like, I know of both of y'all, Gil Pose, and, you know, there's a, a lot of expectations uh, of you guys, like, being a lawyer or being a doctor growing up, you know, like, because of your parents. Like, let me let me tell I you did. that my parents never expected me to be either one <laughs> yeah, of those. <laughs> never. Yeah. But, uh, my yeah, go ahead. Did. Yeah, like, so they wanted you to be... You guys, like, decided to, hey, you know, I'm going to be myself and do what I want to do. And then 
you like you became a rapper and then like what was your turning point in your life that oh i want to just do my own thing like not really of not offending your parents or whatnot but then like when when did you guys decide that that you're gonna do your own thing why don't you guys oh, answer? Well, um, I was originally an art major. And I was trying to go to college for art and didn't get enough scholarship. And at the time, I was making music as a hobby with a producer named UGP. He still is uh, producing in Korea right now. Um, and honestly, like I was going to a community college and I was like, ugh, this is this sucks. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I want to get the hell out of here. And and at the time, I felt the only options were like L.A. and or Korea. And just at the time, I just thought Korea was just way easier For because what? I had family there. No, because <laughs> I had family the there. Easy, the looks way easier. Yeah, because I had family Nick there. Half the price. For, I mean, but it's just like I just wanted to get out of Texas, Dallas, and wanted mm -hmm. to do like at, at the time I was, you know, rapping. So I was like, maybe I could pursue it in Korea. I just had this weird confidence because I spoke English and yeah. like I thought I knew better than everybody else because I grew up in like the hip hop like scene. Yeah. You know, but that was just like a young confidence mind, and I just yeah. yeah, I was just like I really literally had nothing else to do for my life, and I just mm. just were like all right, I just gotta go. Nothing just else. Get, no, do nothing yeah, so, else. So, I mean, but what he's asking is like you weren't even thinking about any of your parents' yeah. parents' thing. No, nah, like yeah. uh, my parents never pushed me to do like my, yeah, because you're an art major. Like, what did yeah. you major? Like, what what kind of art? I did fine arts. I like I did oil painting. Have I did you, like, you never seen his art? Nah, I never seen it. Right. So yeah, I almost. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. Y'all yeah, are okay. so fucking immature. Like I sat through this whole podcast just laughing at those joke. I mean, no, Jesus man, I, I, I figured it was like all right because you were like you didn't get enough scholarship for it. No, nah, so at the at the time, <laughs> at the yeah. time, I didn't know how to like do all that college application process yeah. and all that stuff too. So I, my parents never really taught me how to do like apply for colleges, how did you apply feel for scholarships. About your own art? Uh, I just felt like it wasn't really me. I felt like I was just doing. It wasn't uh, creatively like I couldn't express it yeah. well. So you weren't confident mm -hmm. about it because you didn't care for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, like looking back, I feel like if even if I went to art college, like I would have dropped out and done rap. But why? Mm -hmm. Why did you want to pursue that in particular? Like I always, I was, I always, I always drew. So you enjoyed it somewhat. Yeah, like that was a hobby. And then everybody else was going through like you know college shit, like doing SAT preps. It's like I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. And um, I was so like, all right, art. yeah, I just, I just okay. got to get my okay. shit ready for college, and I mean, you gonna so, see. Yeah. How, how about, <laughs> uh, how about you, Juno? For me, uh, I started music in college, like back in 2010, and then after graduating, like I just got a full time job. What for, does, what does that mean? You, you started music in college, like oh, I started to like? make, I, I started recording in college. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. So like, like in your dorm, so, so my you first rap was in, yeah, in my nice, dorm room. Nice, nice, nice. Um, and then, you know, it's always been like just a, a passion, a hobby. And so I worked full time for about two years. And during that time, what all I planned was I'm going to save up enough money so I could live on my own for mm. about a year yeah. with no help from anybody. I'll just eat ramen and spam. Right, right. And I'll just do music. Yeah. So within that time, I got that ready. And then, you know, I, I cared about what my parents thought because they wanted me to like you know they want me to go pre-med they want yeah. me to do this yeah. and that and you guys have and you guys have a good relationship with your family i i've from what i've seen yeah yeah because they've been yeah. released yeah. That's you cool. know your families came to the album yeah, release yeah. and stuff so yeah, yeah. and definitely like yeah. showing them like what we could do like it, we showed the proof like we got yeah. this far no i mean so yeah, they, that's, they trust yeah us, like yeah. you're saying yeah you continue yeah so yeah so it's just i got to that point and i was like all right i'm quitting quit mm. everything just try focus on music and a couple of doors open for me right and i made it to korea so at that point like you know I, you know, I didn't disregard what my parents like wanted from me, but at the same time, I was like, look, I could do this and I'm going to prove myself right. and I'm going to show that I could do this shit with music. So that's how yeah. I got to where I am now. Yo, he gone. Like when you said being Asian American or just, you know, how does that affect us? It's like when we make this decision to go all in, because you can't half step this, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's yeah, like right. shooting a ball. Like if you, if you can't visualize it going in, then you're going to miss, you yeah. know what I mean? So having that, having that tradition or the expectation that our parents had or that they you know envisioned coming to america for us mm. it's like we have we're, we're working with one no continues you know what i mean we have to go yeah. all out and yeah. have that faith that one day mom i know you don't i'm it's gonna get repetitive i'm like trust me trust mm. me no, I'm, I'm gonna do this mm. it gets repetitive but we always have that we have our sight on the finish line you know that's the thing you only you know you'll see success if you're uh, confident yep. and arrogant right. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. that's yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, I, you know, like I understand. I appreciate all the comments you guys made, but like you know, I see a lot of Korean Americans just go full on their, by themselves and just kind of disconnect with their parents because I mean, parents expect so much out of them. Yeah. But at the same time, they went through like the era after war, the Korean War, and then they're desperately wow. want the success uh, out of their kids, but their kids don't want that. But I, that's why I give respect to you guys. Like you guys learn how to like cooperate with your parents' expectation, but you, you push on your own dream at the same time. So that's something mm-hmm. that a lot of Korean Americans look up to as like, oh, that's cool. You know, like, hey, I can do that too. So. I think that you guys are being good influence to a lot. You know, of if I if I could America. give if I can give an advice to like the next generation of Korean kids is that don't make the same mistakes your parents did. You know, yeah. your parents sacri- mm-hmm. sacrificed a lot for you, but sacrificed a lot for themselves. They sacrificed a lot of time for themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, like there was no you know words like mental health and therapy yeah. or vacation mm-hmm. for them. You know what I mean? So, but what they what what happens is like. If we follow in the footsteps that we they think that they want us to do, like being a doctor, lawyer, you're not going to have time for yourself. You're not going to have time for your kids. You're not going to have time for your friends. Mm. And that is not what they want. If anything, if you want to live their legacy, if you want to help just fulfill their legacy and know that everything that they did was worth their time. Yeah. Go out there and live your life, live your truth. Yes. Then it'll feel like it was worth it for them to do all that sacrifice. And yo, people Preach. get it twisted. They think, yo, they came to America for a better life. That doesn't mean financially only. Yeah. You know, like I think it's our responsibility to do our thing and what we want to do and break that cycle of like, you know, falling in. They didn't come here so we could just make money and do the same thing they did. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like they, us they came leveling here. Up. Yeah, they came yeah. here to open the door for they us. They came to do what here we for us to, to invest yeah. in shit altcoins and make millions of dollars in a matter of three, four days. Mm-hmm. That's what they came here for. Exactly. Um, thanks for calling, Higon. We got Thank eight you, next. What's up? A B. Hold on, I can use the bathroom real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Front. What's up? You had to take a piss for like ten minutes. <laughs> so hold it. Then. I have, I have I a been, question. Yeah. Hold it. Hold yeah, it. what's hold up, it. Abe? I've been holding it. I have a question for the whole table. I guess yep. um, we could have a perspective of Gino G2 versus Dumb and Rick. Um, so for Juno, this guy setting it up right now. moved out to Korea and you guys had, you know, you were assigned to the label, you had your careers and you kind of came back. Whereas uh, Rick and Dumb, you guys didn't really have like a career in Korea. Although you guys went out there and made music with people and collabed. So I was wondering, uh, for a Korean American, would you recommend that route to go to Korea and you know to the motherland and try to work there versus um, Dom and Rick? Maybe what's the reason you guys haven't? Because I would believe that you guys probably could have. Um, so no, I couldn't. Was... I don't. I don't rap in Korean. No. So I mean, my, that's the whole thing. It's like if you're gonna go out to Korea, like you're gonna have to do stuff in Korean. Yeah. Yo, that's, bro. That's the only and also, also it's, it's all about really like what you want, and it's all about the timing. Because honestly, like me and Juno, I feel like we got really lucky with the show me the money thing too. Like around when we went on, I feel like that was the very peak of hip hop in Korea. So yeah. in that sense, I felt like I was really lucky to be on that part of the season. And uh, I was, I grew up around like I. I grew up with a big interest in like being Korean mm-hmm. and and being in Korea, just like kind of, you know, speak, being better at Korean, spitting rap, hip hop and with English, like that was just like everything that, that made me happy. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to like get, use my English as like an advantage in the market. And so, yeah, that was my plan just to take over the Korean market basically when I first went. So mm-hmm. it just really depends on like what you really want. And with, with that said, like I wasn't, confident in my english bars as i was in korean bars mm. when i was younger so that's what made me more kind of shift into that korean market your your first uh full english verse was on this album right yeah i so i always wanted to master just korean rap and so i never really sat down and wrote any english like full bar like full uh 16 verse and uh yeah, I, I see a g2 book in the future mastering korean rap <laughs> <laughs> so, like, all barnes and nobles across the fucking u.s <laughs> <laughs> exactly. so one of the one of these yeah. yeah and so um there's a song called wanted on the album and that was actually my first full english 16 verse uh bar verse and so yeah fuck yeah dude and i killed it 
Yeah, I, I agree with Dumb. Going back to your question, like, you know, I, I wrote a couple of, like, uh, Korean bars, recorded a joint. I thought it was fucking clever as shit. I sent it to G2, and he was like, young. Like, he was like, yo, older bro, like, I'm going to be real with you. This shit is so elementary. Like, we <laughs> laugh. Like, what you think is tight, it sounds like some Dr. Goose, Dr. Seuss, like Mother Goose shit. My shit's know? hard. I don't give a fuck you know what y'all Nah, you kill that shit, though. You kill that shit, though. I, I, all my, I, I, I don't think I have one bad Conglish verse. But that, well, that's the thing. You were trying that. to be witty and funny, but, like, Rick, I could tell, like, he focuses on, like, every single line, every so, single yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. And, like, he yeah, wants yeah, to be yeah, good yeah. in Korean, uh, so scheme. it's not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's, like, he, they were, like, uh, and I it's tell he's trying. When I was in Korea, like, I could tell the ones that were trying to be nice, but had to say it. They're, like... Just because it sounds the same doesn't mean it's yeah, rhyming, bro. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, we could tell, like, you were trying too hard instead yeah, of just, like, yeah. being yourself. Yeah. I feel that, though. Cause, you like, know what I'm talking about? Because yeah, same with me. Like, when I was writing Korean raps, I had to... I, I thought a lot about, like, damn, I want to be good at this. Like, right, I want right. to actually be, like, grammatically correct and shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, but now... But I think that's what Korean the Korean rap, audience wants, though. They want the the... The errors they want like right. the funny stuff they want it's like, like the imperfection as far yeah. as i'm concerned i have the hardest korean bar hey what's orange in time? korean orange yeah <laughs> that, has, that has to be the hardest korean bar of all time i'm sorry and with that <laughs> the with podcast that, is over yeah though. yeah we're gonna wrap it up guys uh juno flow g2 album is called smiles and tribulations yes, it's out on all streaming platforms I'm gonna wrap it up. Music videos are coming out right now. Um, merch is out. Merch is out. Oh yeah, I want to. Oh, you got yeah, rock, 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 merch right now. Oh, it. oh, oh my so we, God. We, Wait, it's just the tribulations should... of no money. <laughs> yeah, 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 so yeah, we yeah. cover the smile on purpose to show you know it's not what it is on the surface. You know, there's smiles. It could be yeah. anything. Yeah, but merch yeah. out now. Smilesandtribulations.com. That's, that's, that's just hard. Check, hold on, hold on. Peep this back too. Wow, Ooh, I like that. That's actually a QRC code for my album. But thanks Shit. for call. Uh, thanks for all everybody who called, tuned in, um, all the great questions. And uh, what's next for you guys? Oh, I mean, I'm more just, music. Yeah, just music. <laughs> more I'm music just, videos, yeah, more, more shows, shows. more yeah. shows, more music. Um, we're constantly working on music on our own shit. Nice. You know, it still feels good to get get an album out, though, right? It's like that's yeah. another baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shit. yeah definitely. <laughs> we that's what we're like. We did the music part, but that's what he was talking about, like packaging it and finally just releasing it to the world. Right. See, that's that's where the tricky part comes in. How's yep. your garden at your house? My garden, bro. It keeps. <laughs> It doesn't pass like the adolescent stage. Like it doesn't bloom. It just, dies. It just wilters. Watch as Minari once. Um, <laughs> yeah, but these guys, please support because I know exactly how it feels to be an independent artist. We both do. We all we're all doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so much respect to you guys, and we'll be supporting. So stay tuned. Tune in next week for another episode of Fun with Dumb. Peace. 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 Peace.